I have some 4 foot T12 fluorescent tube light fixtures that I want to convert to LED tubes. The ballasts are old, so my goal was to buy LED tubes that do not use ballasts. I don't want to have to replace them. Some people say that depending on the type of ballast that the plug-in play tubes may not offer a huge energy savings. The focus of this video is to replace T8 or T12 fluorescent tubes with Fight Electric Ballast Bypass LED tubes. These tubes uh, best suited my needs. I'll post a video in a week or two discussing different types of LED tubes and some things you might want to think about before making a purchase. I think these tubes are a really good choice for someone who doesn't have a lot of electrical skills or a lot of confidence using a multimeter. You simply need to connect the hot and neutral that's connected directly to the bulb into your house circuit. You don't have to figure out your wiring configuration or rewire any tombstones or possibly if they're the wrong kind you may have to replace the tombstones. The ends of the tubes are plastic and don't have any power connections. The tombstones simply become holders for the new LED tubes. Remove the fluorescent tubes by turning them a quarter turn until you see the gold pin in the tombstone. Then just lift the bulb out. If the tubes are removed, it's likely you'll find a cover that is over top of the ballast and the wiring. Remove it. Identify where the power feeds into the ballast. And you should see a black wire for the hot, a white for the neutral, and a green ground wire that should be fastened to the metal enclosure for the light. And if you haven't already removed power to the fixture, you'll need to do that then disconnect the hot and the neutral wires from the ballast. Next, plan how you'll get the wire from the end of the LED tube into the compartment that contains the ballast. This fixture has two knockouts that I'll just be able to break away. If yours doesn't have knockouts, you'll have to drill a hole so you can get the wire from the LED tube through to the splice compartment. If you have knockouts, break them out. Be careful. There might be sharp metal edges. To prevent the sharp edges around the knockouts from damaging the wire, install knockout bushings. If you think there's a chance that you'll use fluorescent bulbs in the fixture again, you can leave the ballast in place. However, I'm going to remove mine. I've taped the ends of the wires that went from the ballast to the tombstones and coil it up and I'll stow those away. Feed the wires from the ends of the LED tubes through the knockouts. Connect the three white wires together and then connect the three black wires together. 
the manufacturer supplies you with quick connectors. Because I have stranded wire, I'm not going to use the quick connectors. I'll use wire nuts instead. If your wires are solid or tinned, like these wires, you can use the quick connectors. You just need to push the wire into the connector and then give it a pull to make sure it's secure and you should be able to see the wire tip inside of the window and so you would put all the white wires into the connector that says neutral and I can only put two of mine in but if you had a third solid white wire you would put that into the quick connector and then you do the same with all three black wires in the other connector Whether you use wire nuts or the pushing connectors, you should have the three white neutral wires connected together and the three black hot wires together. Connect the ground wire to the metal part of the fixture. It could be a green wire or perhaps a bare wire. They're both ground. Reinstall the cover. Install the sticker that says that the fixture has been modified. Install the tubes into the tombstones. Here's the light reinstalled with the LED bulbs. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.